We declare our right on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being in this society, on this earth, in this day, which we intend to bring into existence by any means necessary. I've come here to Cairo to seek a new beginning between the United States and Muslims around the world, one based on mutual interest and mutual respect. We interrupt this program to annoy you and make things generally irritating. You know, Americans have, if they were going to do anything to Muslims, they would have done it right after 9-11. Well, I think we have a very good relationship, uh, Muslim Americans, with other Americans. I, there's no bias incidents that we know of when we watch it closely. Students are teasing out. Muslim kids about their names and calling them terrorists to conceal their religious beliefs to avoid getting bullied. Especially if it's Muhammad, they will actually start changing their name to Mo or something like this because uh, they're so afraid of being born. Whether you're a terrorist, a Sama lover, towel head, camel jockey, on and on. While attending college in Texas, she says she continually suffered verbal abuse and has even been physically attacked just because she's... She's only in the sixth grade. The Muslim student at Azalea Middle School in St. Petersburg says a classmate ripped off her headscarf and threatened... Well, I don't want to go back to school because I'm a very, very afraid and I'm scared for my life. My stomach, I've been shaking, I've been nervous, laying in bed, just tossing, he has a knife out, shaking it at me, saying, I'll kill you, and like, no, 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 at us, you know, and making, like, racial slurs. Lisa Salaj says she really got scared when the man began yelling at her son. Yeah, he said that he would put a red bullet dot in the center of his eyes. Shot five times by this man, Frank Roque who later said he thought Singh was a Muslim and killed him as revenge for his life. In the U.S., surveillance cameras on a prison have captured footage of one inmate beating a Muslim prisoner while guards look on. Hani Elabed suffered bleeding inside his skull and spent three days in a city taxi driver was stabbed multiple times Tuesday after a drunken passenger determined he was Muslim. What the interior of Ali Mohammed's Yermo home looked like? This racist vandalism, the reason he and his family moved out. Last weekend, Mohammed had come back here to clean it up. He was killed in an explosion. You say last month, someone opened fire on the Hashims because they're Muslim. And I need to know who hates us that much. Who's, you know, who wants us to... to Abe Mashal appears to be living the American dream. Sit. Professional dog trainer. Okay. Loving father. Marine Corps veteran. This is the letter from the Department of Homeland Security. But in 2010, the U.S. government put Abe Mashal on its no-fly list. Mashal, who has no criminal or terrorism record, says authorities told him there was a way off the list. Would you agree to become an informant for us and go undercover and find out about certain people at various mosques? Princeton in University area? scholar remains in jail tonight, accused of violating immigration laws. But her husband says they've done nothing wrong. But then Thurwat and Tayo fell in love, got married, and Thurwat, got his pregnant. wife Thurwat Elasity, sits in a detention center in North Carolina arrested for violations of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Thurwat ended up miscarrying. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, or ICE, says this is part of an ongoing investigation and because of that, they aren't able to comment on this. Together again with her husband, Tharwad Elasity, says she has a new lease. Now I feel so good. It's you know, a little bit difficult for me. 
The details behind her arrest still unclear. Immigration officials say the 29-year-old's visa expired in May, even though she married her husband, a U.S. citizen, and says she had filed paperwork to stay also, in the state. It's not about illegal immigration. Also, this is about breaking American families apart. McGahed. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement are holding the 23-year-old for a deportation proceeding based on terrorism-related charges. During a routine traffic stop in South Carolina in August 2007, police searched the car Yusuf and a friend were travelling in. Officers found what they believed to be potential explosive devices in the trunk of the car. Both Yusuf and his friend were arrested. 18 months later, Yusuf's friend accepted a plea bargain and was sentenced to 15 years in jail. Then last month, Yusuf was acquitted of all charges by a jury. Three days after the trial, Yusuf was re-arrested as he walked out of a department store with his father. In a short written statement, a U.S. immigration spokesman said Yusuf was arrested for civil violations of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Zip files about missile rockets, knife throwing techniques of the ninja. Yusuf's lawyer is angry the government is going to the immigration courts with the same evidence a jury said wasn't enough to convict him in the criminal trial. Everything in here, every piece of paper in here is exactly the same evidence that they gave to the jury. And they found out that they're infiltrating mosques, you know, they're spying on completely innocent Muslim people in New York that haven't done anything wrong. They're, it's a team effort with the FBI and the CIA. It's I wanted to ask you uh, about the other house that was raided. I'm um, just looking at an AP piece. Uh, FBI agents in Chicago took a laptop and documents from the home of Palestinian American anti-war activist um, Hatem Abudaya, who is the executive director of the Arab American Action so. Network. Hatem is the most prominent Palestinian activist in the city of Chicago. It's no surprise that they targeted him. Learning the Imam died of multiple gunshot wounds. He was shot 21 times. I wonder why he was shot in the back. Why would he be shot in the back? And then handcuffed. Shot 21 times. Sunday, while Yasser Afifi, a half-Egyptian, half-American Muslim, got an oil change at this garage, he noticed this attached to the underbelly of his car. The device I found was stuck by a magnet. It was a GPS tracking device. Afifi took it apart. Then two days later, he says the FBI and other police stopped him as he left his Santa Clara apartment complex. Many are arguing whether a post by Senator Dave Severson is a funny joke or a racist comment. The post dated July 5th says, Father, daughter talk. My daughter just walked into the room and said, quote, Dad, cancel my allowance and throw away my belongings. The comment lists things such as iPods and jewelry and then goes on to say, quote, well, she didn't put it quite like that. She actually said, Dad, this is my new boyfriend, Mohammed. You know, from with all due respect, sure. The question was asked, are you, would you be comfortable, and we have the transcript, would you be comfortable with the Muslim in your, in your cabinet? And I said, no. A man in Orchard Park, it's a suburb of Buffalo, his name is Muzamil Hassan, and he cut his wife's head off with a giant sword. Oh, you saw this story? Yeah, I heard it. And O.J. killed his wife, you know, with a knife. It wasn't a giant sword, but, uh, you know, I mean, is it, what about the argument that this is just bigotry toward the Muslims to, to, to extrapolate all this from this incident? Uh, no, it's very different, and I have to make it very clear that I do come from the Middle East. I'm an Arabic woman from Lebanon. And this is strictly an Islamic practice. And here's the difference. When Westerners in the West kill their wife, they usually kill their wife and run away. They try to hide the problem. They try to lie. They try to hide the evidence. They do not call the police and brag about how they killed her. You know, there's a major difference there. But it... <laughs> this was the difference between the two. And today you still have house Negroes and field Negroes.
Sometimes I pray at night and wonder what's left for me in my future. Well, Wall Street didn't just gain from globalization. It has been a construction site for an upcoming uh, mosque that's planned to be built in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. This isn't the only case of vandalization. Uh, it's happening across. Federal investigators desperately want tips from you, the public, on that overnight fire at a construction site at a brand new mosque. Now, this one happening in Southwest Miami. Dave, that's where we're hearing reports of shots fired into a mosque and an Islamic community. A suburban mosque vandalized. Again, the shattered glass isn't the worst of it. Mosque leaders are worried these attacks. Well, police in Murfreesboro are investigating a case of vandalism at the site of what will be a new Islamic center. She was like, so do you have to wear that thing on your head? And I was like, my hijab? Yes, I do. 19-year-old Nasia Barlasgar says that's what a manager at a McDonald's restaurant asked her during a job interview. An interview for a job she did not get. hostess at a Disneyland hotel wants to wear her religious head covering to work. Disneyland officials say it violates its uniform policy. Differently at a local credit union, all because of her religion and the way she was dressed. Well, new tonight, the credit union admits it was wrong. A Muslim woman says her civil rights were violated when she was thrown in jail for wearing a headscarf while trying to get into a court. Fighting started after several Muslim women wearing traditional head coverings were not allowed on the ride. The other officers took his fists and he started punching me in my face. And the whole time they were punching me, I was I was telling them to arrest me. I wasn't not resisting arrest. Came and just blew it out of proportion. Blew it. They came with they came like ready to attack. They took my brother. They threw him on the floor. They took my husband in front of my child and they cuffed him. They had me handcuffed and they were pulling me. Oh my! I had to call my brother-in-law and my and my husband. Discrimination against Muslims in the workplace. This is a very hard allegation to prove, but Muslims and civil rights attorneys insist job discrimination is happening, and some of it is aimed at the religious aspects of the Texas apartment complex faces accusations of segregating Muslims in buildings away from other tenants or refusing to rent. What do you mean? If I run a place, I'd do the same thing. You wouldn't let Muslims shop at your store? I sure wouldn't. The internet generated petition seeking an apology for Lowe's for having pulled its advertising from the TV show all where counter demonstrators claim to support Lowe's and Christianity. They included at least one armed member of the right wing Michigan militia. I'm joined now by Darakshan Raja, who co uh, co authored one of the petitions delivered to Lowe's today. Thank you for your time. Mainstream media station. Um, and I think that because of that issue, we have a mass audience that we can um, outreach to. And I, I think if Lowe's does not take responsibility or does not issue an apology, again, you know, what does that say to Americans in general or to the various minorities in this country? Um, you know, I, I again think it's complete callous. callous. We can make a difference if we speak out. How we gonna be if we just back down? Freedom, let me speak, cause this is our time. I feel like if we don't speak up, then it's, you know, it's going to continue happening. It's a human problem, not an American problem or a Negro problem. And as a human problem or a world problem, we feel that it should be taken out of the jurisdiction of the United States government and the United States courts and taken into the United Nations. And the we believe that our problem is one not a violation of civil rights, but a violation of human rights. Not only are we denied the right to be a citizen in the United States, we're denied the right to be a human being. Expect me, nigga, like you expect Jesus to come back. Expect me, nigga. I'm coming. Expect me.
nigga, like you expect Jesus to come back. You have guys like Bill O'Reilly who are sort of anti. Fuck Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Bill O'Reilly. <laughs>